Hey, BJ. I'm Jonathan Sim. I write for Coming Soon. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today. Thank you. Um, you look like you're in a place where I've spent quite a bit of time. Um, I mean, like, your background, of course. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come a lot on. Of memories. It does, right? The Dunder Mifflin Conference Room is a very cozy place. I love this. I love this environment here. <laughs> All right. So um, I guess let's begin. You have had a phenomenal career writing for TV. I want to ask, was it a challenge for you to go from writing TV episodes to writing a feature length film? Um, it was definitely a challenge to go from the TV format to, to film, but one that I was really excited to do. You know, The Office was uh, such a writer's dream because you had all these characters already established that we could fall in love with. And so the idea of, um, of doing something different where we didn't already know people, we got to sort of meet new characters and, and explore them really over the course of, you know, uh, an hour and a half, an hour, 40 minutes. That was exciting for me to go to a new location, a new landscape, new hidden sides to people. And it was really about surprise. So for me, I kept a lot of the sense of humor of the office because I just, that's the way that I write but kind of exploring the world of Texas and podcasts. And it was really amazing to make something on, on that kind of scale. Right, of course. And because because Vengeance is a film that you got to not only write, but you also directed, produced, and starred in it. So I know from experience how daunting something like that can be. And I wanted to ask if you got any advice from anyone you collaborated with before taking on this project. Yeah, um, I got advice from a director of The Office, Randall Einhorn, who told me um, to direct to everyone the way you direct an actor. Generally, when you direct an actor, you don't say, say the line like this. You, yeah. you know, you say why you want them to right. say the line, what the characters think you get in their head. So Randall was basically telling me, direct the cameraman that way, which I also took to direct the costume designer that way. Really get everyone's creativity on the same page and it worked. I mean, I ended up with something so rich and inspired because all of these people were so inspired by their own talent. Yeah, and it definitely pays off when you see the final product. And I wanted to ask, you've played a lot of great characters in the past, like Ryan in The Office and also Alistair Smith in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And so I wanted to ask, given that you've had this long acting career behind you, if you could reprise any of your past roles and bring them back for a movie or a show, which character would you want to go with? Well, I mean, Ryan changed so much over the years that um, I, I would kind of like to see what he's up to now. And uh, yeah. you know, in a way, the movie opens. You know, the the version of me at the beginning of of this movie, Vengeance, I hate to say, has a little bit in common with some Ryan. Um, right, was, of course. I had left over, which I wanted yeah. to show as a way of. Um, you know, showing someone go in, in completely new directions. So yeah, I'd love to uh, to um to know what Ryan Howard's up to now.